Unless divided over lending rates cut and police searching for 18 men who robbed Murula San Casino. With this update, I'm Javi Malazi. Unless remain divided on whether the Reserve Bank's Monetary Policy Committee will cut rating rates at its three-day meeting, which starts tomorrow in Pretoria. Arguments for rate cut include the need to cut consumer debt. But arguments for keeping the rates on hold include the Eurozone debt crisis and the rent's weakness. Bread economist Colin Garo says that it will be premature to dismiss a rate cut now. Gauteng police are searching for 18 men who robbed the Murula San Casino outside Pretoria of 2 million rand and kidnapped Acacia. Police Captain Solima Rindi says Acacia, who works at the casino, was also kidnapped during the robbery last night. Five men armed with AK-47 rifles entered the casino and fired shots into the entertainment area. The robbers then demanded money from the cashers. After collecting over 2 million rand in cash, they kidnapped a male cashier and sped off in a number of getaway cars. The cashier was then dumped on the side of the road while they drove off in a convoy. No one was injured. A protest has broken out into two areas of Tembisa on Gauteng's East Rand. It's understood that residents are angry over high electricity tariffs. Police spokesperson Mukite Sirakwana. It's so long they are burning tires. But I'm turning back currently, it was nothing. They were just protesting without burning anything. They are already there. They are there. It seems uh, the strike started, they were informed, and then they are, they, 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 they are controlling the situation at the moment. And finally, judgment is expected in the Labour Court in Johannesburg today after the National Union of Mine Workers launched an urgent application for an interdict to stop ESCOM's unilateral implementation of a 7% wage increase. Neum is determined to ensure that ESCOM agrees to a 13% wage increment. Neum spokesperson Lisiba Sishoka. We actually had lodged an urgent application in the Labour Court in Johannesburg last Friday to try and interdict ESCOM uh, from unilaterally implementing the 7% multi-year disagreement. We will be meeting uh, ESCOM again at the Labour Court where we expect the judgment on the matter. You can always catch the latest news on the hour on SABC radio stations and anytime here on Newsbreak Option 1.